Hello, Greater Portland family and friends. Thank you for tuning in to this GPBC website update. The staff and I pray that you're doing well on this Tuesday, February the 23rd. Because of the winter storm last week and the power out outage, we were unable to produce a video and report to the church last week. Thank you for understanding. Praise the Lord, almost all of the snow and ice is gone, and more importantly, we have power and were able to have services last Sunday morning. God gave us a great day last week. Despite the fact that it was a week later, we were able to host our annual I Love My Church Sunday, and what a great day it was. You know, the Bible tells us that Christ loved the church and gave Himself for it. As Christians and as members, of GPBC, we were challenged to unashamedly show and personally communicate our love for God's church. God has blessed us in so many different ways. Last Sunday, we also launched our Hope Changes Everything campaign. And while we know that we are to occupy till Christ comes again, I also wanted to provide a way as your pastor that we can make an eternal difference. Proverbs 13, 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it's the tree of life. You know, I'm convinced that if there's anything that people are seeking today, it's hope. Most people feel like the whole world is spiraling out of control, and many are asking, will this pandemic ever be over? Will our communities ever experience peace and prosperity again? And can our nation ever be united again? Really, is there any hope for the future? Honestly, the turmoil, fear, and discouragement that you may be feeling is not unique just to you. Many of your neighbors and your friends and family members are also full of care and searching for answers to the questions they might, may not even know how to ask. Let us answer those questions with absolute confidence that yes, there is hope and church hope changes everything. As Christians, we know that strength comes to those whose hope is in the Lord. Paul said in Romans 15, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Yes, hope changes everything. We've put together Hope Changes Everything boxes. They are gift boxes that are packed with personal gifts and a message of hope. Psalm 71, 2 and verse 5 says, Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me, and save me, for thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my trust from my youth. You know, only God offers forgiveness, and only God promises His presence. Only God offers eternal life. And today, may I remind you that only God offers this hope. Remember, hope really does change everything. And we want to encourage every family of, of GPBC to reach out to their neighbors with one of these hope gift packages. We have invested financially in you so that we can invest spiritually in your lost friends and your neighbors. We have up to four boxes for each family to give away to your friends and your neighbors. Please pray about that person, that neighbor that needs hope, and hand deliver it. If you need more, we'll offer them as long as we have them available. After church this Wednesday night and this Sunday, we'll have the Hope gift boxes ready for you to pick up personally. So please help us with this effort. I want to remind you that each box costs approximately $14, but we've already paid for them and purchased them put them together, and we'll provide them to you. But we're asking for those that are able to help us with just a $5 gift uh, per box will be a blessing. Anything will help. And go to the church app or website to donate to the Hope Changes Everything Fund. Let me thank you now for the difference that you're going to help us make in the lives of your neighbors. We're also thankful that we are able to meet for in-person services 
at GPBC on Sunday morning and Wednesday night. Remember, while we are trusting God for His protection, we are also asking you to continue following the health and safety guidelines. Please, wear a mask when entering the building or moving around inside the building or when talking to other people. Use hand sanitizer and wash your hands frequently. Practice social distancing. Uh, sit in the green marked areas only and don't congregate in the aisles or foyer. And stay home if you or a family member is sick or if you've been exposed to someone with COVID. Let's be sure to pray for each other and for our church family. Pray that those who are ill with COVID will recover and pray that God will stop this pandemic. And please continue to pray for our members that are on the front line of the pandemic serving continually in the medical field in many different capacities. These names are familiar, but let me call them out to you once again. Pray for Rosalie Liggett, for uh, Olga Arvello, for Barbara Hurd, for Sergio Cruz, and Rufus and Dee Johnson, and Mary Strickland, and Natalie Weaver, and Jessica Johnston, and Brian Lockhart, and Dr. Bob Sason, and our friends there at the Good News Clinic. Please pray for God to protect all of these individuals as well as for their families. Please pray for our bus and van captains, the adult, teen, and children's Sunday school teachers as they endeavor to stay in touch with our families and their children. Until the social distancing is lifted, we are not able to run our buses and our vans or to have Sunday school. We're hoping that with the vaccine and with spring coming, we will soon see these doors open again and the ministries functioning uh, as we did before. Remember to pray for Brother Rick Terrazas and our prison ministry teams. And while the prisons are still shut down, he is still able to reach the inmates by Zoom and live stream, and God continues to bless those efforts. Let me challenge every member of GPBC to continue being a faithful steward. You know, recently we had a Sunday service where no one was able to come to the church for worship because of the snow and the ice. The financial impact of that week was very heavy. The offering was less than half of what our weekly offering needs to be for that week. I know that God will meet our needs, but let me remind you, He often uses you to do that. And as I have said many times, that must be done on purpose. God continues to use each of you to meet the needs of your church through your faithful giving of your tithe, missions, and your dream offering. Whether you give in person, online, or the church app, or in mail, you really are making a tremendous difference as a faithful steward. Thank you for doing that and for helping us maintain a ministry here at GPBC. Let me take a minute to update you about some of the needs of our church families. Continue to pray for Trinidad Gallegos, even though he's having some difficulty with the side effects of medication, he is doing much better. George Stevenson, remember him in prayer, and for Jan and Elaine Huxel, for Helen Cooper, who had uh, hip surgery yesterday. Pray, if you would, for Joan Craven. She is having uh, cancer surgery today, and I just talked to Brother Bob, and it looks like maybe the surgery uh, has revealed that they may need to take another avenue for treating this cancer. So please be in prayer. Pray for Al and Janice Sanders, as well as for Ed and Sue Snibel. Pray for Bob and Marilyn Wood, for Brother Bill German, and for Doctor's Wisdom to deal with his pain in his back. Pray for God's healing touch on Brother Lucia. He is doing much better, for which we're grateful, and his family appreciates so much your prayers. The memorial service for Virgil Cargill is this Saturday, February the 27th, at 11 a.m. Please make plans to attend if you're able. I know Edith and their family will be comforted by your care and also by your presence. Most have heard that Brother John Main went home to be with the Lord early last Thursday morning. He's with Jesus now. Please pray for his family, especially his seven-year-old son, Brandon, during this time. 
The memorial service for John will be next Tuesday, March the 3rd at 2 p.m. right here at GPBC. I sure hope that you can be here for John's family and for each other. You know, for all of these years, he was here for us. Now it's our turn to be here and to remember him. Whether someone is in the hospital or scheduled for surgery or in bereavement, we want to keep you informed so as the family of God here at GPBC, we can truly bear one another's burdens by praying for one another. If you have a prayer request, please call the church office and let us know. Praise the Lord, our Christian school, GPCA, continues to host in-person classroom teaching. Please continue to pray for God's blessing and protection for our teachers, as well as for each of our students and their families. Continue to pray for God to work in the hearts of our leaders here in America. Pray for President Joe Biden and Vice President uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, let me encourage you to join us tomorrow night in our Wednesday night service at 7 p.m. We'll continue our Wednesday night series, Lord, Teach Us to Pray. Our teen and our children's ministries are up and going. Please bring your kids and come to Wednesday night service. It's exciting for me to hear the reports from our kids and our teens and what they're learning. Let me encourage your parents to help them be here. Let me encourage you once again to please invite unchurched or unsaved friends and family members to attend GPBC with you. Praise the Lord, we still have the joy and privilege of sharing the good news of the gospel despite the pandemic. You never know when it may be your last chance to share Jesus with them or if it might be their last chance to hear it. If you need gospel tracts, please let us know and we'll provide you with as many as you may need. As a Bible-believing New Testament local church, we must occupy until He comes. Let us occupy ourselves with a fervent love for God and one another. Let us occupy ourselves with the faithful pursuit of the lost, with the fruitful stewardship of our lives, and with the focus of the imminent return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, hope changes everything. We're not going back, we're going forward. Think positive and test negative, and remember the blessed hope is our only hope. By God's grace, we're going to occupy till He comes. Rest assured of our prayers. We love you, and may God bless every one of you.